the third letter of john from the american bible union's new testament this librivox recording is in the public domain recording by mark penfold the third letter of john from the american bible union's new testament the elder to gaius the beloved whom i love in truth beloved concerning all things i pray that thou mayest prosper and be in health as thy soul prospers for i rejoiced greatly when brethren came and bore witness to thy truth as thou walkest in the truth i have no greater joy than this to hear of my children walking in the truth beloved thou doest a faithful thing in whatever thou doest to the brethren and that to strangers who bore witness to thy love before the church, whom if thou send forward on their journey worthily of God, thou wilt do well. For on behalf of the name they went forth, taking nothing of the Gentiles. We therefore ought to sustain such persons, that we may become fellow workers for the truth. I wrote somewhat to the church. But Diotrephes, who loves to have the preeminence among them, receives us not. Therefore, if I come, I will bring to remembrance his deeds which he does, prating against us with evil words, and not content therewith, neither does he himself receive the brethren, and those who are willing he forbids, and casts them out of the church. Beloved, do not imitate what is evil, but what is good. He that does good is of God. He that does evil has not seen God. To Demetrius, testimony has been borne by all, and by the truth itself. Yea, we also bear witness, and thou knowest that our witness is true. I had many things to write to thee, but I wish not to write to thee with ink and pen. But I hope immediately to see thee, and we shall speak face to face peace be to thee the friends salute thee salute the friends by name the end of the third letter of john from the american bible union's new testament recording by mark penfold